Behold, the microwave. But where did it come from? Meet Percy LeBaron Spencer, born in Maine in 1894. Percy grew up with his aunt and uncle, and by the time he was 12, he'd left school to apprentice at a mill. In the Navy, he studied wireless telegraphy, and when he joined the Raytheon Company in the 1920s, he established himself as an electrical genius. His improvements to magnetrons boosted production from 17 per day to over 2,500 per day. But his biggest inspiration struck in 1945, when an operating magnetron melted the chocolate bar inside his pocket. When Percy placed popcorn in front of the beam, the kernels popped. He wondered, could it be possible to cook food using microwave radiation? Raytheon knew a good thing when they saw it, and in 1954, the company began selling an innovative little gadget called the microwave oven. Of course, the original microwave oven weighed 750 pounds and stood over five feet tall. This first microwave oven model was called the Rattarange. Microwave ovens use radio waves with a frequency of about 2.5 gigahertz. At this frequency, radio waves are absorbed by sugars, water, and fats. But not by most plastics, ceramics, or glass. These waves are converted into heat when they're absorbed, which means that a microwave oven essentially only heats the food. As a side note, metal will reflect microwaves, which is why you shouldn't use metal plates or foil in these devices. After decades of research, improvement, and a lot of miniaturization, the microwave oven became a common sight in kitchens across the world. <laughs>